Imagine, you're in the prime of your life, upwardly mobile. You have your whole life in front of you. And someone comes up to you and says, I have this proposition for you. It's an incredible opportunity. Some claim that it's the most rewarding and important job of their lives. To be clear, it will require a myriad of skills from human resource management, culinary skills, medicine, psychology, economics, and more. You will find yourself needing to be on call 24-7, 365, and you will have to drop whatever you're doing to focus on this task should the need arise. It does involve physical pain and emotional angst, and there will be things in this job that are outside of your control. And the other thing, you know, in terms of job security, mm -hmm. this is a lifelong sentence. You can never quit mm -hmm. and you can never really truly retire. Oh, interested? Oh, I am very much interested. I'm into it. See you soon. Why would anyone want to be a parent? This recent study from the Pew Research Center found that 41% of parents found the job of parenting to be tiring all or most of the time. 87% found that it was stressful at least some of the time. We know that 14% of mothers will experience postpartum depression and the annual cost of raising a child can be more than $30,000 a year. While many women are delaying having children into their mid-30s and often having smaller families, the rate of parenthood remains constant at around 85%. However, as Karen Benjamin Guzzo, director of the Carolina Population Center at UNC Chapel Hill stated, the United States doesn't have paid family leave. We have a really shaky childcare system. We don't have sick leave for most people. So there's a lot of things to consider before you decide to have kids in this environment. This led us to ask the question, why would anyone want to be a parent? I wanna understand why people become parents? What were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Part of it is just the evolution of life, right? Uh, from a spiritual perspective as well. Like, you know, to me, it was important that I learn my lessons in life and I'm able to pass it on to others and, and want them to learn in life as well. So it was that evolution of life that kind of uh, enticed me. There is a lot of joy that comes out of the nurturing in your life. There is a lot of trepidation, but also reward of putting forward your thoughts and your ideas, but also growing with your child at the same time. So for me, parenting has been a lot about learning about myself, in addition to learning about a world that I probably would never have been able to touch. So I can't, I wouldn't be able to pay anyone to have this kind of I want to learn, I want to grow. So I think I'll grow. I personally feel like because every time I'll see that child, because I would expect that child to expect things from me, you know, like he would be asking questions to me. Like, so I'm like, I'm too lazy to learn new things. So I would be like, okay, I'll be pushing myself. You know, I would be reading more. I would be learning more. I would be like doing that more, you know, and I'm like, I want to, I want to push myself. How do I do that? Like. Do you worry about you know, raising a child in the current environment? I mean, we're in a planet that's yeah. got climate change and bullying and gun violence and yeah. on and on and on. And, yeah. you know, what is, it, do you, do you yeah, think about that? Yeah, always. Uh, and it was, uh, it was also one of the thing, like, it was even when we were like going to the whole marriage thing as well, it was always like, do you really want a kid to be in this world? You know? uh, coming in this world and like with so many things happening in this 
too much of peer pressure as well the technology and the way it's like changing nature and yeah. I did actually think a lot about that, like we're bringing them into a world that's increasingly more complex, increasingly more difficult in terms of climate change, in terms of careers, in terms of job stability, education, everything, right? Is that a good move to do? What's, essentially, what's the world going to look like for the next 50, 80 years that, that, that they're going to be living in, right? But to us, that wasn't a good reason not to have the life, because that's like saying it's going to be challenging times, I want to step away from that challenge, right? To me, to address that challenge, I still wanted to have a family that can understand those problems and uh, face those problems head on. When I think about the world and I, I look around and I say, you know, there's climate change and there's gun violence and there's social injustice and there's political unrest, why would you bring a new life into that world? that world needs to change and you're not going to change it that new life that you bring in with the right nurture and the right values is the one that's going to make this change and to me the reward when you think about the Arab Spring you think about Greta Thunberg you think about the young people coming out and pushing back making us see what we're doing with climate change making us see that America's greatest sin of slavery is not over yet we would never have done that had there not been young people there to put the mirror up for us to take a look. And maybe that's the answer to the perplexing parenting proposition. The idea that beyond the joy that comes from nurturing a new life and the opportunity to grow and learn together is the concept that parenting allows one the opportunity to potentially have a lasting positive impact on the world through your progeny. It harkens back to Khalil Gibran, who wrote in The Prophet, Your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, yet they belong not to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts, for they have their own thoughts. You may house their bodies, but not their souls. For their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow, which you cannot visit, not even in your dreams. This is my favorite piece and really sums up parenting for me.